Hi, and welcome to another GigLab tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about programs, presets, and banks in GigLab. Understanding how this work will not only help you grasp the structure of GigLab, but also bring you closer to finding the workflow that fits you best. Because GigLab is flexible and there are many ways to organize and customize your setup. Let's start with a quick look back. In the early days of analog synthesizers, all the controls were physical knobs, cables, and sliders. So if you wanted to create a sound, you had to build it from scratch, manually adjusting everything. And if you wanted another sound, yeah, you do it all over again. To make things easier, engineers developed a way to digitally control those analog parameters so they could be saved and recalled with a simple button press. Those were called programs. Different brands had different names. Yamaha called them voices, Roland called them tones, and Korg, like Giglet, called them programs. In Giglet, the official sound library is built using programs. Each program contains everything needed to define the sound, like this piano, for example, including settings for sound effects like reverb, delay and chorus, as well as insert effects like EQ, compressor or even a guitar amp simulation. Loading a program is easy. Just click on one of the melody tracks, let's say you write one, and pick a program from the list. Let's go with Grand Piano for this example. If you've used Arranger keyboards before, this will feel familiar, but Giglet goes even further as it lets you use VST instruments. So if you have your favorite contact libraries, for example, you can load contact on write two, pick your library, say another piano, tweak it however you like, add effects, and then simply right click and choose save as program. These programs can then be used not only for melody parts, but also in styles or MIDI files, just like any other arranger keyboard on the planet. So to sum it up, Programs are all about making complex sounds easy to recall. With one button press, your sound is ready to go. But Giglet gives you four melody parts. What if you want to set up a piano on right one, strings on right two, an acoustic guitar on right three, and a warp pad on the left part? And recall all of that instantly. That's where presets come in. A preset is like a snapshot of Giglet's entire interface. So in our case, we'd set up our melody parts just the way we want, and then save them together as a preset. That way, next time, one click is all it takes to load everything. Here's how. Click this button up here, or go to the File menu and select New Preset. On the screen that pops up, just check the boxes for what you want the preset to remember. In this case, just the melody parts. Give it a name and save. That's it. But Giglet is a full arranger, so maybe you want to recall even more, like the style, tempo, transposition, melody setup, lyrics, mixer settings, and so on. No problem. That's exactly what presets are for. Set everything up, hit new preset, check the options you want to save, name it, and you're good to go. When you open Giglet for the first time, you'll notice there are two folders inside the preset section, melody and songs. You can create your own folders as well, but this is a great starting point. Separating simple melody presets from full song arrangement presets makes things easier to manage later. So how can we use all of this to organize our work and build personal repertoire inside Giglet? Well, there is no single right way. Every musician works differently, and I'm not here to tell you how you should do it. Some people like to keep things simple, pick a style, set the tempo, load a few programs manually, and play. That works great at home. But if you're playing professionally, especially live, you know how important it is to save time. At a wedding or live gig, when the dance floor is packed and there is no room for breaks, every second counts. That's where banks come in. A bank is a file that contains 16 memory slots, which you can see right here on the interface. You can fill each slot with whatever you need, styles, programs, lyrics, even other banks. But most powerfully, you can fill them with presets. So let's take the preset we made earlier, the full setup for a specific song, and drag it to memory slot one. Now let's grab a few of those melody-only presets, maybe piano, distortion guitar, saxophone, and pad, and drag those into slots 5, 6, 7, and 8. Once you are done, rename the bank to match the song preset we started with. Let's say, show must go on. Now, when you select the bank, everything you need for that song is right here. 
slot number one loads the full Giglet setup, ready to play. The other slots let you switch between different sounds for your melody parts instantly with just one click. As I said, this is just one way of doing it. You might prefer something totally different, and that's fine. Maybe you want a bank named after your band or artist, let's say Queen, and then fill all 16 slots with different Queen songs. Go for it, play around, experiment, and find what feels right for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We are always happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Ciao.